All right, guys, let's talk about the tools, the multi-tools I EDC the most. So today we're going to look at the different multi-tools that I end up carrying quite a bit, and they are pretty repetitive, so video will probably be, hopefully the video won't be too long, but now let's jump. But without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, all that fun stuff, guys. You know the drill. So now let's talk about some of the tools I EDC the most. Okay, so with, when it comes to multi-tools, um, I don't really EDC a whole lot of different like variety. And that's because for the most part, what I'm really after when I EDC a multi-tool is pliers. I really like having a good set of pliers that are sturdy, heavy, or kind of heavy duty and ultimately robust enough to, you know, bend sheet metal, do stuff like that, cut wire if I need to. I also like the ability usually to have scissors, but not always. So this guy has scissors and this guy has scissors as well, but uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So the first one that I EDC the most often, and it's kind of twofold, is my Leatherman Charge Pluses. I do have an aluminum handled version and I have this G10 handled version. And uh, this one definitely sees the majority of the carry, as you guys can definitely tell. It's pretty well broken in, pretty well loved. And uh, it's just a really solid tool. I do like the premium steel, the S30V on the main blade on it. But to be honest, like I said, what I'm really after is those solid, um, multi-tool plier head or that solid plier head or needle nose plier head that is on this guy. I also like the fact that it does have scissors in the handle as well. So those are pretty nifty, pretty handy for uh, cutting things that are better left to scissors. So for the most part, this is the guy that sees the majority of the use, but uh, I do use a few other multi-tools. In addition, I do also like the fact that this one has a really nice pocket clip on it. Just makes it very convenient to EDC because a lot of my pants do have belts and and belt capacity but oftentimes what lives on my belt is my firearm and sometimes things like knives that are uh, inside the waistband so oftentimes my belt space is kind of precious and guarded to um, firearms and stuff like that so usually I do prefer things that are either in the pocket or things that have pocket clips Okay, next one up that sees quite a bit of time as well is the Leatherman PST. I know that this guy is very old school and a lot of people probably would never guess it, but the thing that I've talked about in several other videos why I love the PST is it is such a slim tool and it still has a really good plier head on it. So, and this one even probably is a little bit more my favorite because this has those old school plier um, kind of teeth to it. So on the old school Leatherman, they have this really fine kind of serration to the needle nose aspect. And then when it gets down to the full on uh, pliers, it goes to the more aggressive, larger teeth. And then uh, of course, then you have your wire cutters, but with, this is their older school version and they did not, they do not make this anymore. So I really actually like these pliers quite a bit, but realistically, like I said, uh, the reason why I like the PST is if I want something that's really slim, really minimal, and super easy to like throw in a pocket but still have pliers this is what I'll go for so one thing this one's just pretty much more plier based it does have a main blade and of course has an awl and a few other tools to it but by and large I'm really just carrying this one for the pliers um, and yeah this guy is just super small it's kind of hard to put it into reference but like here is a skeletal so a skeletal is kind of seen as a smaller multi-tool but even it is a fair bit longer hopefully i can kind of like show that that little like clip portion makes it about i would say a half inch longer and as far as thickness goes the uh, pst hopefully there's no real good way to show this but the pst is still right on par with the thickness it is a little bit hard to see from that angle because it does kind of like thin out on the clip portion but you guys can see there like where the actual multi-tool is the pst is still just a little bit thinner so super pocket friendly knife and or multi-tool i should say and of course everything is rounded on this guy so that's another thing i like about just throwing it in the pocket they did originally come with uh belt pouches but honestly with that guy it's just so much easier to throw it in a pocket and kind of forget about it so because i'm already holding it the next one of course is the leatherman skeletal and this guy is fairly new to me i do like it quite a bit once again it is primarily a plier focused tool it does have a pretty good driver on it i will say that's also pretty handy something that i kind of wish was more present on the uh, pst because the pst does have a range of flat bits but this guy is pretty cool um, i have it set up right now with its factory dual um, phillips head 
but on the secondary or kind of ancillary area, you can carry bits. And uh, this one has a smaller flat bit, which I don't honestly use flat, uh, flat or slot bitted screwdrivers or screws that much, but it also has a Torx bit on it, which I do end up using a bit more. So pretty versatile, pretty cool. You can carry a secondary um, bit. And of course it's compatible with any of the bit kit bit pieces so that's just the one that I have in it as a secondary or offset tool. Once again though this is primarily plier based and it does have a very accessible knife. Now I'm not a huge fan of the Skeletools Tools kind of stock configuration of having a combo blade of having the serrations plus the straight edge. There are certain Skeletools Tools you can get though they are harder to find that do have just a plain edge but I would probably go with that version if I really really was after it but this isn't too big of a deal and once again Usually with multi-tools, the blade is kind of a backup blade for me anyways, because I am carrying usually some sort of main blade. So that's my kind of secondary or that's a multi-tool I've been integrating a little bit more here of late. I do like the Skeletool tool quite a bit. It is pretty versatile and pretty useful and overall around the same size as my um, charge, just a bit lighter. Okay, now the only Victorinox that I run with any reliability in EDC, much to the chagrin of some of my subscribers and commenters, is the Victorinox Farmer. And the Farmer's a pretty cool tool. I do like it quite a bit because it's super pared down and it really has just the few tools that I would actually use. And 